Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Castle of Legends. Um, actually, if you're just stopping by, this is um, just a run through of some some uh, thrift store pickups that I got recently on both um, uh, Xbox original Xbox games and uh, some PC games. I just decided to combine them too because there's really not a, a whole lot, and um, you know some of the games that you can get on the PC era that that I collect for, which is usually um, around. Windows 98 uh, and Windows XP uh, games that are on uh, you know CD-ROM or you know early like DVDs. Um, but anyways, just want to go through some of the pickups. Picked up uh, House of the Dead, uh, Splinter Cell, Chaos Theory. Got a classic uh, Platinum Hits uh, trilogy, so it's a three pack. We've got Half Life Two, Full Spectrum Warrior. This is actually um, a backwards compatible game on the original. Uh, sorry, the Xbox One. <laughs> um, so you, if you have an Xbox One, you can actually uh, play this one. And the same goes for um, Crimson Skies. This is actually is a, an NFR copy. Um, I think my other copy is the same as this as well. I'd have to check that. I do actually have. Um, a few copies of this game, including actually just one in a sleeve. Rainbow Six. There's nothing here that's like overly rare, but um, fun to pick up, nevertheless. I'm sorry, these were stuck together. Um, Mech Assault 2. Prince of Persia. We got. Uh, Mace Griffin uh, Bounty Hunter. Sega GT 2002 in Jet Set Radio Future. And then uh, these are actually the, uh, the, the main ones I picked up were because I didn't have these. Uh, Procast Sport Fishing Game by Capcom. So I don't normally get sports game, but I'm starting to get any of the sports games in like um, just games like, like this in general um, that I don't have. So I, I picked this one up and then I got a not for resale copy of Amped. Uh, I believe it actually doesn't have the manual inside, but the disc uh, is, was, was, it was in great condition. So I, so I picked it up. There was actually two copies of this one at the, at the store. And um, I just picked up the best, the best of the batch there. So. Okay, so moving on to just a handful of PC games. So I got uh, Painkiller. It's uh, a three disc set. And the discs are like brand new. They don't have a mark on them, so pretty happy about that. I actually had this one as um, a download copy in the G GOG account, but I uh, picked this one up. And then to add to my Star Wars collection, which I'm going to do a separate video on, um, I'm a Star Wars collector as well, and I didn't. I don't think I had uh, Rebel Assault 2. I think I had the first one. So I grabbed this. Um, anytime I see some Star Wars games, I, I do pick them up um, for the PC. Uh, saving the best one for last. Uh, Gotham, sorry. God, I'm a Batman fan as well. Uh, Gothic 3, which uh, looked um, pretty good online. And uh, they, these were only... Uh, Three dollars. These were uh, well. Most of these, actually, these two I got recently uh, from one place, and these were from another place as well. But um, yeah, I mean, these were like three dollars each, so nothing to to be too concerned about. And then I picked up this. Um, never seen it before. Uh, Blade Runner. So and the the manual, everything is complete. Um, manual has uh, like images, other. Not from the movie, or sorry, yeah, the movies, but the characters, they look like how they do in the film. So anyways, I thought I thought this would be great, like retro uh, game to pick up for my, um, for my PC collection. And uh, I'm going to see if I can actually, um, I, I can run these. I actually have Windows XP machine and a Windows 98 machine as well. So um, depending on the, the hardware situation, I can... I can accommodate uh, the specs that are on 
on these uh, discs. But uh, anyways, I just uh, wanted to uh, run through just a few thrift store uh, pickups with you guys, and thanks for stopping by.